What's up guys, welcome to a new video. It has been a while, but season three is just around the corner. So we got to try out some things. Let's go ahead and see it. All right, this is going to be a team that I really want to try out. I think it could be interesting. I haven't played Aquas for so long, but I really just want them to work. I don't know why. I just, I just feel like they're good. So look at this team. Especially this guy in the mid. I want a lot of fragments. So I have this guy with clamshell. Obviously, clamshell gives you an energy fragment if it causes HP loss. Uh, it, we have our goldfish here that it gives you two energy fragments if you have at least one skill card in your hand. It could be Nemo. Well, basically, it, it can only be Nemo because I only have Nemos. Uh, it, they could also be uh, curse cards, by the way. Even even attack curse cards are uh, categorized as skill cards, so that works. I'm using a uh, a retain a sticky octopus here because if you retain it, the next time you use it, you gain an extra energy fragment. So this is all about energy fragments, ramping up as quick as possible. The only bad thing is uh, you get 15% less damage. The other ones, actually, I'm gonna see it here. The other ones are this guy, Remove Secret, is your basic Aqua from V2, the the Arco Scarab Aqua, it's re looking really good, the thing is, this guy's got double Nemo, so that's gonna be basically what I wanna go for on this build, and I'm gonna give him Way of the Aquatic, <laughs> and this guy's got Way of the Aquatic as well. It's just, basically just pure damage, throwing cards out, and ramping up those, uh, energy fragments so let's go ahead and see how this turns out okay vault builder way of the bird way of plant query oh, query so i could probably use this no i don't i, I don't want to use it yet go save the sleepless i didn't save the other one because uh i have an extra nemo here that i can use to get this back I do have a sticky octopus in this, so I want to make the most out of the <clears throat> out of the effects. This gives me wait, is it one one bonus energy fragment per energy spent? So if you spend three energies, you gain three bonus energy fragments. So this is really good. The only bad thing is that it has 15% less damage. But anyways, that's why I'm using it as a front. I'm trying to see how it works best. So I guess using it as a front is uh, probably the way to go. Let's go ahead and use this here. 109, holy crap. I think this guy will have uh, the taunt already. Oh, so it's not this. He doesn't have cactus. He might have a cattail. No? No, there's no cat cattail. Did he shield? Yes. What did he shield with? Mint? Oh, shielded all allies? Okay, maybe. Let's use this. Grab, uh, grab that. So, these have retained, so I'm gonna wait until next turn to actually use them. Mm, maybe do I want to do that? No, actually I want to use them now. And then maybe this. Yes. Okay. Bad thing is now this guy's got the taunts, so I'm probably gonna have to attack him now. He's gonna make me attack here. Yeah, cactus and then cattail. Does he have cattail as well? No. Oh, is this gonna kill? No, it doesn't. Cool, 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 cool. cool. All right. All right. We need the most amount of damage as quick as possible to try to kill this guy quick. I'm pretty sure he'll use this, uh, the cattail in the next turn. Uh, vulnerable? Yeah, why not? Next turn as well. I'm already at 20. I'm already at 4 energy, so that's pretty good. Don't want to use this? No. Let's, let's go with this. And the inkling. Yeah, it's more damage. No, actually, no. Well, yeah. Jinx. 
I'd rather put a Jinx in there. 416 HP. This guy can one shot two axes in one turn, basically. Let's see where I'm sub quicker. My energies or this guy's uh, machine gun bird. All right. So he, he's probably thinking what to do here. Hungry bird, okay. Is he going to use the cat tail? Is he, is he going to pull the aggro again? Oh, look at the damage. Okay, wait. Cat tail? No, no cat tail. No cat tail on this turn, so it, that means free damage on this guy. Um. Okay, so this is good. I can use this. Then this. And I, I, I want to do this, though. Should I? If I do this... You know what? There we go. Hmm. I, he can he can kill me still here. Oof. Just look at that. Yeah, that's gone. Now this guy has to save me. Somehow. I've got four energies. Probably in the next turn I can get five. If I get a good draw, man, what the hell? Okay, this is good. I can do this, this, and this. This guy's not dead because he has shield. I should have killed. That's bad on my end. 18 out of 20, almost five. Almost five energies, I mean. I should have attacked this guy. Oh, honestly, I, oh, I, I think I couldn't. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I misplayed. I misplayed. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Okay. This. This. This here. Oh my- whew. By 2 HP. Jesus Christ. Alright. <laughs> GG man, GG. I misplayed so bad, but I, I I don't know why I misplayed there. I should have I should have attacked that the front axi. That's it. But I somehow got the win. I mean, even if I lost there, I what I really want to show you guys is this: you can you can ramp up so quick. Your energies can go up so quick. You can start attacking with five energies in like turn eight. I've gotten to turn eight, something like that. You just gotta manage your cards very well. So I think this change could actually work. Um, I think this comp is pretty good in the rare era, so watch out for it. Honestly, watch out for it. Uh, Double Way of the Aquatic and uh, Blunt Teeth. Blunt Teeth is just so good. I used it as a front right now because the damage reduction on it is honestly pretty strong. So maybe having some taunt in one of the axes in the back or the mid could help uh, that axe survive a little bit longer get use of uh, energy fragments a little get use of the rune a little bit more but so far i think it's just pretty good i think it's a pretty good comp so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one